that is the problem in implementation. The problem is a lot of the people for whom these rights are meant are not even aware that they, they enjoy these rights. The problem in implementation is for a wide variety of reasons. I cannot have the right to equality under Article 14 till I know that there is a judicial system which is in, which is inexpensive, which is swift, which is where I will not have to spend years and years to get my right enforced. I might have a right to equality under Article 14, but till the time I don't have an effective enforcement mechanism, I cannot effectively enjoy that right. Similarly, there are a lot of other rights which have been provided by the by, by, by various schemes of the government. Just recently, last month, we have seen what happened in Bihar in the midday meal scheme. In the midday meal scheme which was being run. The government of this uh, pats its back and says that this is the largest, world's biggest school children feeding program in the world. And which is true. By some estimates, 12 crore children are given free lunch in primary schools all across the country in more than 12 lakh schools. But is it the best? Is it the most efficient? Is it the most corruption free program? Social feeding program in, in the world? We all know the answer is no. So the difficulty today is in implementing all that is already provided for by the government under the constitution as well as under the various acts. And this is where I think NGOs like the one which organized this event, the, the exchange of ideas in, in these events, the judiciary, the executive, the, the human rights commission, the lawyers, lawyers like me, where we can contribute, we can actually develop a civil society movement which can actually act as a check on the excessive or on the or on the on the on the omission on the part of the government to implement all the welfare schemes and to enforce all the rights which have been provided by the constitution and the various social economic legislations. With this and with this great hope and, and, and best wishes to NGO, NGOs like these who have been selflessly working in securing this right to the common man, I would like to extend my offer of help and cooperation as someone who is associated with the legal field that if there is anything in which I could be of help to any endeavor or to any 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 objective or any any scheme or any program which this NGO seeks to indulge in. If there is anything, I would use this stage and this dais to actually extend my offer of help and cooperation. <laughs> 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 <laughs>